Do we actually want her on a stack or do we want her on a great ego? I mean, kind of great ego works, but yeah, could be better, couldn't it? What do we do? <laughs> um, didn't we do missile strength and or the construction one? This is also kind of nice though, honestly. <laughs> I think we did the construction one, right? Yeah. My thanks, Master Smith. Sister, give it me. You called? I will not believe a word you say. But speak anyway. <laughs> I won't believe a word you say. Do you want to have my kingdom? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, then. Highborn. <laughs> Weird. of Athel Lauren. I'm just realizing that I'm gonna go for an um, ambush. Lady right? of the Glade at yeah. your service. Athel Lauren above all. Your orders are acceptable. Very well. We will stamp out these rats. You called. Uh, 
This is all there is though, what they have to offer. Can't believe it. Literally two units and a hero. Hard to believe, and that seems to be the case. Huh? It's not worth a fucking slot, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, those 20 logs, how much they're making us? So 59 plus what? Nine per, so it's literally 180 bucks. Huh? 180, 239, 239 bucks, huh? if we're gonna export it all, exporting 100%, and we just have four logs running right now, so at max it's 239 bucks, huh? I mean truth to be told we can just you know, have all the stuff between those two separated so that they all three can go for um, well, this is the control building as well what's your special thing, sir? Campaign movement range minus 15, enemy armies and province, and reload time for Hawk Riders, all armies. Okay, so. Mm -mm -mm. And the other one is as well, uh, all armies, and we don't need to produce it there, right? It's just uh, faction wide and all armies, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So it doesn't really matter. So we have basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven military buildings we want to have. Mm -mm -mm. And you would have four already, which means we can do the other ones. So, well, both of them kind of need this one, right? Yeah. So it's basically just three and three and the Amory. It's a little bit of pity though, but yeah, let's get rid of this one. So one will be Amory, one will be um Well, Ether, well, Amory and the other one will be the Starlight Forge, yeah. So, and then we're gonna have a look if we're gonna switch out the Woodsman Hut with um, the Trappers Den, which seems a natural, because on level one, 
this will make more money and growth and casualty replenishment and uh, fur than uh, this will ever do. Uh, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> we have this, this, and that. Which means this can go away. We're gonna destroy this here right now, yes. This stays and this stays. How about okay, yeah. Do they have actually an extra fur? Yeah. I don't think we're gonna use it. We're gonna use this one though, yeah. Kinda would need to find man, I'm kinda eager to get the second um a second thing running though. Queen of Ab what matters do you wish to lay before the Ever Queen? I will use my gifts. Those two, those three actually make a no. Oh, there's one as well. Okay. Ah, oh, no. I don't. Is this one as well? No. Well, they already asked for. Uh, um, Defender for, uh, of the Phoenix. Thing. I bid you welcome, traveler. Here we go, sir. What would you wish to discuss, if you wish? Okay, that's four healing per turn. Nice. Okay. So this will go its way. Is there at least somebody? Who's this though? This is Dyth, our Smith. Huh? Is that the Dyth? Because um, he might be the reason why we could confederate him. Maybe Dyth is basically the faction leader of this. It's called Wald's Anvil. He does have the Starlight. The Starlight Forge there. So is that this is that the dive? The sisters getting the his their favors from no? Could be. Could be. Hey, I'll go. Awaiting duty. Itching for fresh battle. for the plague uh, wasn't there 
Was it here or was it one of the researchers? Their lower chance to get the plague or... Plague free something? I'm not entirely sure. Immune to attrition. Hmm. All armies. Um, to all kinds of attrition. Usually they specify a little, right? I mean, this sounds like all attrition. I would like to give this to Itza though. This one and well. Oh yeah, Itza and Baudelot, not friends yet. Because Gorok is still right. difficult, isn't that? Very likely. He is somewhat of an idiot when it comes to that stuff. What if we're gonna kill... Um, how much land does the vampire man has? Six. That's... Uh, it's kind of okay, right? What if we're gonna just gonna give him this, though? We can have good plunder money, and then we're gonna sell it more or less for cheap because you won't have much money. But yeah, so but he has then a little bit of uh, background, you know, and still having a good anvil in Itza. Thing is a little bit how long can we leave this alone? My guess is not very long. The nation calls. What do you need? This action does not have my consent. Do you know who I am? Welcome to Fair Britonia, Commoner. Fine. Now. Nagaroth warrior. Lord of Ath... Yes. Valiant Lord. The Warden of Tor Ibre... What is it? I am a Warden, not a low-born tradesman. It is necessary. Glade Lord Sivlagrastia Ulf One's defender. What do you wish to discuss? As you say. Vindhelm. Shield of Athel Lauren. Can we do it twice in a row? A traitor stands before me. Speak, traitor. You called? My ear. Holy shit. Champion of the lady.
Do you wish the lady's favor? Done. Azrae. Protector of the right by the light of the lady. Ashka. Just confederated two faction in one round, huh? Is that going up now? No, it stays at five. Nice. I live to serve Ariel. Um, kind of interesting. It's been a while since I played it. Hey there, Link for Real. Mm -mm -mm. But basically, uh, Warhammer 2. Oh, yeah. And there, mm, I don't know. And there, I think I only played Durfu, Draika, Durfu. Yeah, but it's been a fucking while. So it's kind of okay. It's nice. It's interesting. And it's very much, yeah. yeah, it's good, it's good so far, yeah, gotta say. <laughs> but we also just fought against, let's say, the classic enemies, so we do not know how it goes uh, when we have, I don't know, say a real enemy. What was it with the waystones? There was something with the waystones, wasn't there? Um, didn't they have each one or something in Warhammer 2? Shouldn't that, or if you own all of them, then you can build them? No. So that's, oh, the, yeah, they all got one now, okay. No, this is the one, okay, it's, that's weird. This is a landmark, and as soon as you have I don't understand. Was it Ethelorin before? I'm fairly certain it was marked as landmark. Well, it's not. Oh, okay. Well, my way just I just looked weird. Oh, okay, it's fine. Man, what a we just we just did nonsense. Huh? So here's Ariel. Mm, she has no. She has well, basically the same as what the one viewer said. Somebody get got her before us and then she basically loses all her uh, legendary items. That's a bit shit. Okay, well, why, why is she so great then? I mean, yeah, you can work with that. We just have more or less snowballed diplomatic-wise. Pretty hefty, actually. And I'm thinking we are gonna go... What the fuck are charmed attacks? Huh? <laughs> hmm. Uh 
Ooh, okay. So that's basically a limited ring, no? Yeah, pretty much. You cannot heal. There's a lot of direct damage going on. No? Oh, she can heal. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Life bloom. Ancient protection, what's that? Physical resistance. Oh, sweet. 10% every time she casts. Mouth of the wood. Every time she casts, aim a piercing. Man. Oh, sweet, man. Holy moly. I see, I see. I mean, she has some nice build up stuff as well. Unusual, no. Okay, what about Ama thirty? Yeah, I'm not sure. So I kind of see how um, the AI uses um, for running around. I mean, not really, you know, outside of outside of Ethelorin, but yeah, that that could be a big saver though. I'm actually thinking, what if we just made an item, uh, is this a redefine, yeah, construction cost minus 15 on fertile ground, construction time, construction cost, we could uh, lower the things by minus 40%, huh? and the construction time is also fairly hefty, um, Fairly hefty uh, in well with all the uh, wood elves uh, buildings, and that being said, we are gonna have how much actually do we have right now? What we're gonna have in three turns. We're gonna start the forge here, um, start the forge here. So we would have one, two, three, four, four by now. Five actually, so and we're gonna get ten percent per. We're gonna build for nothing or nearly nothing when she gets that item. Well, if the item is on level three, oh my god, this is a massive fucking reduction. Huh? We are roughly at ninety percent, huh? and we can make it more. Maybe we book not pay for. Um, yeah, uh, she was, but somebody got her earlier, and the AI strips off all the items. Huh? Do not know why, hey T. So she will stay with the defender here. Huh? You have orders? The queen in the woods. Can you do wound 14, 14, 18, 35? And let's block army. Nah, it's fine. I mean, on the other hand, she does need a little bit more experience. Huh? Pursuing Lauren's bows. These are some eyebrows, huh? Holy fucking shit. 
Are you a moth? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna give her the redefined dreaming bow once he is on. Um, well, she's already in that region, right? Yeah, she yes. is. Let's put it on immediately. Yet she does need to have on fertile ground. Huh? This is gonna be the next thing we're gonna do. Huh? Thus, she needs to be in an army as well. A little bit scared though, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. What about Clan Angond and us? Oh. Ready. What don't you like? Oh, fuck you, man. Past treaties, bullshit, huh? What can you say, man? What the fuck can you say? Why don't you take the rat's hand and come at us as well, you fucking prick, huh? Billiger Iron Hammer, man. What a fucking prick. It is clear. <laughs> hey, Blood Matty. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, Ru. What? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I mean, overall, I kind of what I do really, I think, enjoy the most is um, about the what else right now. You do have basically a completely different game. Huh? So, and we did this a lot in the last year, let's say. You know, just the usual stick, and then the ultimate crisis came, and then we did the ultimate crisis, and we did over and over and again more or less the same thing with a different faction, and you know. That is a that is a nice switch. Huh? This is what I'm what I'm liking, uh, Link. Trespassing mechanics can be a pain in the ass. Chasing an orc war party into dwarven territory, the dwarves got angrier over trespassing than me fighting the orcs and we besieged them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, this is fine. If we have the money, we will pay them off. Huh? Yeah. It's all very frickle. We do have not a lot of money, though. Right. And fucking Orion doesn't even have his garrison up. Huh? That's a little bit uncool. Huh? No, we're gonna start this once she has the item and the um, ability fertile ground. But for reals though, if we're gonna get up the Azray, um, the Azray Forge, basically everywhere on level three. This is construction cost minus eight. Plus, basically, the two because for all buildings faction wide. So that's 10% per uh, Azure, uh, uh, Amory. Do I see that correctly? So we have 1, 2, 3, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, well, 5, 6 later, and we're gonna get 40% off of the building costs from um twenty percent from the item and twenty percent from on fertile ground skill uh from Ariel. Huh? Do I say that correctly? That we that we built for nothing though. So it's it's minimum ten K for the upgrade for stepping on the land, but fighting and dying to protect them is plus five relation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know what you mean, Link. It's just like that. And they are getting so fucking slow uh, down as well. And also things, sometimes, you know, you fight somebody and he's just, I don't know, trading with them. And then this is the most evil thing you can do. Even if you then spend, I don't know, 
we had uh, when we played Boris. Um, he didn't like that we killed <laughs> Balthasar Geld, who attacked us twice. And at, by and the second time, we basically just eat his land. Um, but both of it was retaliation. And we were at 250 minus uh, because he attacked us. <laughs> yeah. And then we only, only fought his enemies. And it took uh, at least 100 turns um, constantly fighting his enemies uh, that he would consider... A non-aggression pact which we then also got by um, paying him 2700 or something but yeah absolute fucking ridiculous huh? <sighs> Dun -dun -dun. Uh, for the for the tier 5 one let's say um, 17600 huh? which I think is 20k is that correct maybe hey skittle twister Mm, I read the same as you. Yeah, okay. I'm really kind of snoopy. Huh? So basically where Ariel is, we can build for nothing. At least in the theory. Uh, 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 theoretically. Huh? Mm -mm. I mean, we are not there yet, right? We do have, I don't know, right now, two or three uh, Amory's. And she doesn't have the trade, nor does she has the item. But it's a thing we shall consider, I think. I am Skill Twister. Are you? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh... <laughs> yeah, she is. Oh, she has no no items. I kind of wonder what items it would be, would have been. Oh. We just um, who got her? Uh, Orion, I think. Uh, yeah, and Orion stashed away her stuff. That madman, man. That madman. Okay, well, we this turn we confederated uh, these guys and Talson. That's quite nice. King Lewin Leoncoeur. We did a shit ton. I think we're gonna take on um, Reichland as well. It all goes down because of the confederation, confederation uh, penalty, but that's kind of fine. It doesn't really matter. We do have the um, we do have the the thingy thing, uh, um, the mission run, and we just need to win one battle against Norska, and then they will confederate. Uh. Who calls? Did this go down again? No. Honor before was a trade? I am the blood of Gilles. Hmm. At your service. So. 
I'm unsure about Reichland. The problem might be um, Balthasar. Balthasar and Dertho, the fucking fuck nuggets, huh? And both of them wanna fight the the vampires. <laughs> fucking idiots, huh? Mm -mm -mm. So the might all goes to shit anyway because uh, he didn't do his duty. Yeah? What else we're we gonna do here? Um, I mean, I do fear we need all the money buildings. That much is clear. I think we want to keep this there. I would like to keep this there as well, but yeah, something's gotta go. We could get rid of this one because we have it in Vault's Anvil, right? No, but we have it in Hearts, yeah, Findle. Yes, we do. Not at that stage, but well, we need to kind of adjust things anyway. King in the woods. I would like to keep this just to get us more Treekin, you know? If you want to don't know, stand against them, so you kind of need some, some fucking tree kid, no? There are some horses as well, I think we're gonna do it though. On the other hand, uh, well it's all armies, the Wildwood Rangers, uh, melee defense, no? Mm -mm -mm. I mean, overall, we want to keep those three here, right? Pretty much. And we do need the garrison building. We do need um, the craftsman tree. Well, that would be it. I mean, we could go for this one, you know, just to up the, um, the garrison a, a tiny amount, huh? And the discoverability is also kind of nice. I mean, our main threat right now is um, Ikid, huh? And maybe, you know, next turn uh, we will lose Kingslade. Huh? Well, basically on AI turn. Absolutely possible. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So yeah, let's get rid of it. Can we give him some army immediately? Yes, we can. Let's just go this way. We will see. Might want to do actually Sisters of Thorn and or uh, War Shields. Let me look at the garrison itself. Yeah, no. It's fine. Protector of the Oak. Uh, there are no mods, Skittle Twister. Okay, no, uh, well, just to clear it up, I don't, I don't know, there's a lot of... Um, <sighs> we did the... We did our first, uh, so usually you're gonna get uh, Ariel um, after the first healing ritual. We did our healing ritual here, but um, the same, uh, the turn, the healing ritual was finished. So basically our st turn starts, healing ritual was finished. Um, 
we started the turn uh, the witch wood was besieged and then it didn't trigger so we didn't get ariel um somebody else got ariel i do not know how um i think it was orion and uh, he took all the items off of her and now we have confederated orion thus we have ariel this is it uh, yeah we are not gonna start a war with uh <laughs> no uh, uh, We're happy to survive the next onslaughts um, by the rats, though. Protector of the forest. Ever watch. One of them wasn't really clever. Mm -mm -mm. Minus two. Well, okay. Can have this as well, theoretically. Forest is whispering. Following your orders. Stop now. Holy shit! Oh. Do a fool. Do a fool. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean, though. Yeah, think it is a problem. We're not gonna start a fucking war with butters, are? Huh? Now let's see, then we're gonna get an army here, a little bit of protection through garrison, and then we will see what we can or have to do here. Huh? Yeah, we gotta push him out though. Are we at war with the orcs already? No, we are not. That's good. Mm -mm -mm. So we can start building here next turn. And you're gonna go home. Huh? Well done, man. I forgot about him and we got attacked yesterday night. Huh? just have to use some money here. Huh? Do we want to keep it cheap? Yeah, let's keep it cheap. to do it. Don't know how much of this goes actually through. Bring me battle. Uh, Morathi. Storming for minutes, all of this, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Well, <clears throat> but Raika, it's law, right? Durthu is a little bit, could go either way, actually. At least, you know. But Draika just hates everything on legs, huh? So, okay. Um, we did all we could here. Let me just check again. So we can close it off. So those goes away. Um, we will have to see what we're gonna do here. Both of them gonna get um, the forge. And he is gonna get one money building plus. And burp, 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 burp. you know, I think this is it. And here we have to revamp also another money building and the forge. No, the forge is already there. The garrison is what we want, yes. Okay. If actually, you know, this survives a couple of turns. Huh? Okay, so far so good. Do you have anything to wear? No. Do we want to give him... I mean, reload time reduction is all blah. Let's see if we find something better. Aim of fortune sounds good to me. Now we're gonna wait with this one though. I mean, do we building somewhere something right now? This is all going down. Um, this is going down. And this is also going down. What about here? I mean, turn turn one basically. Also, that's a no. We could just give it to him and click those buttons, but I. I kind of want to wait because we don't have a lot of money and we have to build a lot uh, next turn. And the most important part about this would be here, actually, yeah, well, we will see, uh, would be here, so theoretically she can have it already, right? Is it local region? Mm, local region, yeah. Mm, you don't need any of that, by the way. God King of the Deepwood. Could just give him a little bit more. Have a potion of healing. He can heal himself, but... We have not a single arcane item. This is super weird, man. Well, we could do here a little bit. Let's give the branch wraith something. Torment of sword sounds good um, as well. I think this is basically it already. I mean, why not? I mean, he is what causes fear. Sure, have the mask and the dawnstone. Okay, this is that, we were there, so now, what are we gonna do with Lustria? Pfft. So we do not need to have the mission beat two times a Bretonian army, because these guys just lost their army and confederated on their own. Um, this is good. So that leaves us with basically making friends with Bordelot, Itza, and maybe the Huntsman, because Bordelot and the Huntsman are working together, is that correct? This is diplomacy, total war! <laughs> total diplomacy! Are you kidding me? We don't know the Huntsman, huh? That's annoying shit, huh? Really? Yeah, no, for reals. That's a joke, huh? Mm -mm 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 so we 
we have not seen these 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 guys who live there which cities we literally see with our eyes right now okay cool anyway he has a defensive alliance with them and he is fighting the um clan pestilence and rakath and this is kind of sweet and good so basically Bordelot is fighting them huntsmen are fighting them and itza is fighting them as long as Gorok is not going to fuck it up, we could more or less forge an alliance between Huntsman, Bordelot, Itza and us and repel um, the Reds, but more important, Rakath. Rakath is strength rank fucking f 1 right now and he has 16 settlements in Lustria. That's, uh, that's quite an achievement if you ask me. So we are only at war with Clan Skittle. Clan Skittle is the biggest red in Lustria right now. Don't ask me how that happened. It just happened. Huh? And it's kind of interesting as well. Uh, we killed already two stacks of them and took basically this city off of them. Yeah. So the question is a little bit, um, whom do we give it to? And I think we're gonna give it to Bordelot for exchange of um, better friendship. The chances that Itza and Bordelot starts fighting are kinda high. This is this is a little bit bad though. Even though they're fighting the same dudes, it's a little bit the same with. Um, you know, um, Balthazar will fight or wants to fight the vampires and uh, Durthu wants to fight the vampires, but yeah, they're both fighting each other instead of the vampires. Mm, and Vlad is laughing in the background. Huh? So it's here a little bit the same with Rakath. But um, they are at least at war with Rakav, both of them. So they are making they are making some diplo points to each towards each other. It's all fine. Mm, question is, how are we gonna go ahead? Whom is this exactly? To what belongs this? To huntsmen, which we <laughs> we haven't met yet. Okay, I believe you, game. And uh, these guys. Um, since we haven't met or well, never seen the people we see, um, I mean, maybe it pops up next turn, but this is fucking ridiculous, right? <laughs> um, I think we're gonna give it to Bordelot. And then, is this part of, this is part of this one, right? Yes. Meetings. We might have to put somebody in there, which is a really bad idea money-wise right now. But we might have to put somebody in there or we wait in a little. We're going to give this to Bordelot. We wait in a little till the garrison is up. And then we're gonna eat up them vampires and gonna gift it to Itza. Well, gift it and sell it, but yeah, Itza will have nearly no money. But I think this is not a bad idea. So, and then uh, Itza can, you know, fight on their own. And we will have a um, we will have another alliance here. So um, what's basically happening is um, alliance and Itza alliance. We get our healing points, and that's basically it. And we have more or less three more or less stable factions fighting Rakath uh, in Lustria. Sounds like a plan. I think this is what we're gonna do. Can you go back immediately? Yes, you can. The thing is, um, how long will Itza attack though? Uh, survive. Oh. If we wait too long, 
But yeah, if we're gonna lose the sacred pool immediately, we have no. It doesn't really do a lot for us if we lose it. So I'd say we're gonna go back selling this to Bordelow. Lord of Welcome to Fair Britonia, Commoner. Is it Chucker? It is Chucker. It's not enough for that, but it's a start, and we are gonna go towards plus anyway. Mm, but you gotta pay me. We need some money. Very well. Okay, now we have an indicator uh, what Itza thinks of that. Gifts given to Bordelow. Yeah, ah, fucking go rock, man. I should just kill him and give it to Bordelow as well. <laughs> it's an option though, right? It's a decent plunder money. I'm not sure how good or bad Bordelow will fare against the Reds, though. I mean, he will be fine, and he will love us once we start to give him uh, land. You know, that's that's all right. Twin defenders of the glades. When do we fight? Only when necessary. Do we have something to speed up the buildings? I don't think so. No. And if yes, we would not be able to get it done. And here's another construction cost minus 15. I, I don't know. We might get all the buildings for nothing. I really mean it. Everywhere where... Um, everywhere where Ariel is. Huh? I'm really kind of snoopy how this turns out. Huh? Okay, well then the, the plan is forged. One thing is to still to answer, and that is we have the uh, option to go for non-aggression um, with Reichland right now. And that's a little bit... So, I mean, the thing is, how is Reichland and Golden Order? So, they are, yeah. By the comet. Sometimes they time. are at war, sometimes they are just kind of neutral, but like this, you know, and then they're trading. Is and um, sometimes uh, Reichland hates if you attack him. So, that being said, um golden order will fucking hate us in the first place because we have treaties with argalon but it's not as evil as i thought so what we could do then is we're gonna have a non-aggression pact with him um we might lose lorelon though gotta say um and then we're gonna have more or less uh, good re or starting good relationships with Golden Order as well. The thing is, we would need to find three, three tri three times dwarven, uh, to confederate Dorthal. 
I would fucking love to confederate Earth though. So that we, I don't know, we give basically that stuff to uh, Reichland and or Golden Order for military alliances and a little bit of money. And then, you know, that conflict is solved. Um, yeah, and we would see plenty times ahead um, if they're going to go here or if they're going to go here. But it's just, you know, they can't jump the mountains and this is more or less a fairly uh, secure border. And it's better they have it than, let's say, Clan Angonda. Mm -hmm. And since we have the mission, uh, beat one Norska army and then... Um, these guys will confederate and might be a wise choice to uh, be friendly with Reichland. It would be the, um, yeah, it would be a direct neighbor to the only entrance into Lower Lawn Forest. Huh? I'm not sure how the world around looks here, but yeah, still might be good. Only concern is Reichland might just kill Lower Lawn off. So that that could absolutely be. Yeah. Highborn. Another thought running through my brain is he would go for a defense alliance. Sometimes this is all that is needed to actually accept the confederation. Huh? It's a little bit weird, but it kind of works like that. Huh? And it's actually also sweet that he is only at war, only at war with um, Golden Order. The thing is, though, we will not fight any dwarves anytime soon. So it could be, if it doesn't work, it could be that we worsen the relationship with the Golden Order. And what we don't want is basically Clan Angrond um, goes crazy together with uh, Golden Order. And then it's more or less a, time, a question of time until Reichland joins in. So I think we're going to take the risk uh, with not getting Laurelon Forest and starting at least the the relationship with Reichland. Huh? Ready. The Celestial College implores that I hear you. I will. And they do like as well that we have now made um, treaties with Corone, huh? which is also kind of right. And yeah, they are also, man, Grom does good these days. Huh? Are Grom and Kemla at war with each other? Grave times. Yeah, they are nice. <laughs> this is good for us. Lord of the Glade. The Empire. Champion of the Lady. You ask for a boon. Speak, and I will see if it is within my power to give. Mm, let's not go any further than that. No defensive alliance. Um, just because they might gonna get, uh, they are not at war yet with the Norskan tribes, and they will every now and then just attack there, and we don't want to be involved in that. So let's just do this, but only 
to um, strengthen the relationship uh, with the Reichland. Where is... Orders? No, we can't see him, never mind. It is time! <clears throat> Can we do the ancestors more, sir? bow to no, no one? That's fine. Lord of Athelorin. I think he's busy, and that's all right. Two point four. Man, I think I'd like to try that. That could really backfire, though. It could really fucking backfire. But truth is, I mean, honestly, Ikid is in front of fucking Waterfall Palace, huh? And he's fucking dirtling around with a metal face, huh? Mm. What vice value? We have now the Confederation penalty run, and for the next five turns, minus 40. Huh? I guess Clan Angrund has some past with uh, Durthor. 100%. Huh? And even if it's just Clan Angrund is pissed at Durthor that he is fighting Metalface. Huh? I mean, the risk is there anyway, you know. Uh, Golden Order, Clan Angrond, and Ikid piling up here. Huh? I mean, that, that's uh, either way, yeah. Wouldn't be even be able to pay for it. But if we let it run, um, the minus forty will kick in. No? So and the only way to confederate him would be via uh, fighting three times the dwarves. Which is, you know, not really a big, a big one, but it, it means literally war with Clan Angrond in our current situation, and we do not want that. Huh? I'm ready. Find everyone there, <laughs> and we are his fucking main threat. Are you fucking kidding me? Huh? But it goes up by what actually? By a little bit, but. The aversion is so hefty. Huh? The base aversion is minus sixty. Huh? Holy shit! Consume the great more will devour you. 
slowly. Uh, when can we do pain. that? In four turns. We will do that. We will cancel the trade then. My era. Man, this would solve so much problems if Durthal would now confederate as well. No fucking shit, man. I'm just seeing that we got Mon 4 as well. We could uh, sell it to Reikland for closer bindings. And he might be uh, involved in the war with Kemla and or Ikit, though. Do we have everything, anything else outside of Ethelorin? No. Um, let's do that. That's a good one. This action does not have my consent. Friends it of will, the Empire, sir. It will. come. Uh, he's not really keen on it. <laughs> uh, I think we just give it to him, huh? I mean, we could use the money, right? Yeah. How much we talking? 2k. Give me 1k. Sigma's will. The nation calls. Treaties with Argolon is already 36, though. Aversion is fairly small. Strategic threat is strategic threat. We're gonna do the alliance with Dothu. And just if it's just to uh, negate the confederation penalty. Yeah? So and the chances that, I don't know, uh, when he gets his ass kicked, he will do the confederation is also much higher now. How much? 9k, that's all we have, can't do. Yeah, we have negated the confederation penalty. Cool. Yeah, I gotta do it. By the light of the lady. No, we believe this there, though. You called? Might even cancel. Um, our stuff with Laurelon. What are we talking about? It's just pass. trade. When would that be possible? We can't do it already. We're gonna do it. It shall be done. Dark deeds.
What? Yeah. Well, in a good way. What? This goes up a little, but not as much. From 27 to 33, yeah? Man, that was a that was a turn of diplomacy, holy shit. Are we through then? I think we are. Does somebody know if this is Dive, the one dude from the forge? He's wounded, uh, and I think he wounded, lost his army, is the reason why they went for the confederation in the first place. I'm just thinking about it. We have now, that's just defense. Do we want to have an outpost on Ulthuan though? If we can have a good major city on Avalon, a couple of sisters or something. Sounds good to me, right? This is fairly safe stuff, though, I've got to say. No sisters here. We don't really want to have anything on the outer, outer circle. No. What about you? This is safe for a while. Vault's Anvil would be uh, a big fucking city. There's not much to get right now, but it might be not a bad idea. This would be part of uh, Lothan. The thing is, though, this is f strangely fairly fast taken. No? I think we're going to do it nonetheless because it gives us access to a shit ton of units. No? Is there actually anything we want right now? I doubt it, to be honest. I mean... Um, Clan Spittle and Lustria is um, fairly low tier, I gotta say. As it is as a minor faction. I don't know how, how it came to be that they are bigger than Clan Pestilence, but they are. Uh, and, yeah. So that's weird enough, but therefore um, a Phoenix could do really good. Um, because we will need to have a little bit of army um in that tree down in Lustria. And if it's just the garrison and let's say a couple of Phoenix. No? So I think we're gonna do that, huh?
then we're gonna get a couple of units here in Orion's army and a couple of units here in Captain Befuddlement. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I mean, truth is, when shit hits the fan, we might have to jump to the Oak of Ages with our um, main army anyway. Yeah, Northern is too important for income to, you know, let it overrun by uh, Ikid. It's not, you know, we won't be dead, but yeah, we'll have a way, way fucking harder time. What a turn, man! <laughs> Holy shit! Glad that I stopped yesterday, honestly, man. Holy shit! Oh, that's bad. That means uh, our northern side is not uh, safe anymore. That's fine. They went back a little bit, that's okay. And he didn't went in. Huh? That's also bad. Uh, that's another uh, we have forced peace upon going to war again. Hey, not so cheeky. How long do you watch him? Did you just came in, or are you watching at least the last 10 minutes? Please tell me. This is the, 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 the two two turn replenishment from here, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we will have to let it run through. Turn on, but after that, I went with my son to the bed. Yeah, so now I'm on oh, my mobile. All oh, good. Mm -mm -mm. So a lot of things are happening, but yeah. We confederated these guys, as you might have remembered yesterday, but then same turn, Orion offered a uh, confederation as well. We have a lot of non-aggression pacts and um, alliances all around in Ulthuan, um, sending diplomatic uh, interest towards uh, Reichland. And we, since we don't need to kill the Bretonians anymore, we won't do it. And we're gonna wait here until the garrison is finished. And then we're gonna kill off the vampires and gonna gift it all to Itza. And then we're gonna hope that the alliance between the hunters, Bordelot, and Itza, well, there is, Itza is not part of that alliance, sadly. Um, but that then they are strong enough to fight Rakaf and the Reds. Huh? We'll see about that. That's the short version, sir. It has been very complicated and all my brain is gone right now. Not really. It's at the brink because of fucking Durthu and fucking Metal Face. Huh? The thing is, um, Angron is really strong. And we would need to confederate Durthu to um, hammer down the relationship with Reichland and Golden Order. Once we have that, I think uh, Clan Angrund will be stabilized as well. But yeah, Durthu is doing difficult. Huh? We can only confederate Durthu if we are fighting three times dwarves which we are not going to do in no way or form. And yeah, so we will see. We kind of hope that 
uh, metal face does a military strike, a successful military strike against Durthu, so that we can confederate Durthu and we will see where we end up. Huh? We have Arya now, by the way, and she has no items, just shitty items, three, three shitty items, no legendary ones. Uh, but we might found a way how we can um, recruit or build everything for nothing. Huh? So we will see how that turns out. Huh? We have to build a lot here now. Um, that is going to be one time money building. Oops. That is going to be one time the forge. Why wouldn't that be possible? Oh, it costs pop. Okay, well, money building first. Same here, right? Pretty much. Um, two times forge, but then... Oh my god. Uh, what is this? Reload time for hawk riders. Ooh! gonna go for the money first they are all there that means we can actually do this one yes Lord of the forest. I'd like to switch that, just for the looks. So we would need actually to find a way, can we do this one, yes. And here we need another pop. And this is alright as well, in two turns we're gonna get the rest I think. Waterfall Palace is not ours. Ever queen of the this is a little bit Supreme nonsense now. Can oh man, I would like to just do something to them so that she gets another uh, point. Huh? It's a little bit annoying. Huh? Mm. Did the solve. AI did something stupid here? Mm, <laughs> fuck. Growth of the forest. Uh, what does he do here? Bolts, it's not bad. And ancient bark. Alright, we can do that. Uh, for the rest, it's quite alright. It, AI didn't fucked up though. Not really. I mean, growth of the forest, well. But, you know, the growth in Ethelorin, it's not a bad idea overall. <laughs> the forest calls. So, but this is quite all right. Two turns later, we're gonna have um, mm, well, at least. Um, the third, no, the third money building is already there. We will see what we're gonna build there. I think it's gonna be maybe first, but in every case, the um, Ethelora building. And here we need one pop for the. For what, actually? Uh, I have no clue. I don't know, it's not that though. I was. Well, maybe. No, it won't do anything, it's fine. 
Will you say that to Rama? Is it fine though? Plus one forest health per turn to local magical forest. Okay, well, forget about that then. Yeah, okay. She needs to have a point now. Uh, we can save already a little bit of money here, and I would like to do that. <sighs> well, it's better than nothing. Let's just put her into this army. Upon you. And we will Master give her. You have orders? The bow. I mean, Mrs. Drill, we can jo also just as long as. Oh, he has one. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, what about one of you guys? You have bows, right? Yeah. Sure. 11, 9. And they're all fairly fresh. They're all confederated dudes. But this is alright though. We just want to have the 15% construction cost reduction here. And then we're going to do that again. No? So we could as well it to both though thirty two maybe the deep wood stairs all hail colonels I go Let's just do a start this one though. Let's go project um, project construct construction um, less expensive, maybe even nothing. So the thing is, um, does Ariel have any quests? Um, I doubt it. No, but she does have on fertile ground construction cost minus 20% for all buildings local province so given this uh, we have No, not this dude this dude and he is wearing now the redefined dreaming bow Construction cost minus 15%. With the next three uh, favors for the forge, we're going to bring this to 20%. So if we're going to give this one to Ariel, it would be already minus 40% uh, construction uh, reduction. So if we are having um, the Azare Amory, um, we're gonna have minus 10% in every um, in every province where that is and we're gonna have 2% uh, on um, well everywhere where we have a, um, where we have a Amory we might can build for nothing is the is is the uh, is the thought uh, but it's not true. I, this is a mistake, right? No. We're going to get 40% and then we're going to get 50%. Um, then we're going to get 
65%. And then we're gonna get um, 2% by the amounts of Azaray Amory's. So which might be six. Let's just say it's gonna be six. It's one, two, three, four. Well, it, later, but now right now it's three, four, five, six possible. That would be another 12%. Where have we been? I don't know. Uh, it's more though. It's more than 65. But the, the thought, uh, I made a mistake when I thought um, the, so it's basically where we have a Azaray, we're gonna be end up in the 80s, and where we don't have a Azaray Amory, we end up uh, in the 70s. Huh? Yeah, it's a long way to go there, right? Yeah, this is basically uh, what we want. Huh? Let's go there right now. You know, it's 24 turns in the future. We might have built a lot of stuff in the meanwhile. Huh? Yeah, very likely. Tell you what, um, let's just do it for the time being. We can get rid of it as well. We already got rid of it, but well, we won't tell, right? We will see, though. We will see. I need to go really hard to the toilet now. I'll be right back. Mm -mm -mm.
Ooh, it's finished. Yeah, I'm gonna spend something here as well. What is this though? Uh, Temple of Isha. Mm, winds of magic, all armies, physical resistance, all armies. Man, we're really pushing the physical resistance. It's everywhere, not a lot, but it's always 5%, something like this. Huh? It's kind of really interesting. I would really... Man, you got to collect those guys. you got to collect them all. And then I would not wonder if we end up with 40 as a standard. Huh? This is fucking magic. Huh? Immune to chaos, undivided corruption, and chaos waste attrition. Okay, that's nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby, yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's a fairly good one. I mean, we're going to do this just to have it. But otherwise, I think we're going to focus basically, you know, this is a little bit nonsense. Uh, because the other money buildings, A, this is growth, and B, the other money buildings, the first ones, are super sweet. Huh? Uh, we're going to go for this one just because of the control and the growth. Huh? This is basically the growth building in uh, on the Wood Elves. Huh? Sure. Uh, the public order building is what I want to say. Since we have no, let's um, let's do it this way. No income, so we have no income there. Even though this is on level one, are you fucking kidding me? Income generated three hundred and fifty. The fuck? Level one has no income. No, cross. Income all buildings 10%. Ooh, nice. Well, it's still fucking ridiculous, right? A little bit. So as long as this is not finished, or those are not finished, let's have it for a turn, um, you know, a little less public order trouble. Okay. Um, they're not laying siege yet. Ah oh, man, they will not allow us to to get those guys. I assume, but we will still wait until they either um, attack or uh, we're gonna get these guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is that. Then... The this needs a little bit. Ostman, hey there. Welcome, Tinkia. Serene Nestor. Tempestuous Arahan. It's still four turns. That's ridiculous. <coughs> it was four turns last turn. Well, it doesn't really matter. Um, we are going to stay here uh, until the garrison is finished. Uh, yeah. And it will be a nice <coughs> head start public order wise as well. Okay. Uh, we might want to do something here. Hey, let's do total diplomacy a little bit. 28, okay, just checking, just asking for a friend. I don't know, let's have a look at quick deal. Mm -mm -mm. Let's not forget about it. In three turns, we are able to um, stop the trade here and get better relationship with Grom Rindor, which we want as well. Who calls? King Luan Leonker. I think we are fairly fine with most of that. Of the... I am the blood of Gilles. Is it time? Friends of the Empire, come. Very well. Meet Rachel. The Empire. 
Yes. Champion of the lady. No, we don't want that. As I said, oh, we no, might want to do blind. this though. But uh, it's a uh, they have been at war with uh, Bordello. Man, Gorok is really. I don't know, man. Dirthu, Gorok, you know all the all the really cool dudes. <laughs> Are really doing also really difficult, huh? I think this is it already. Uh, where do they construct King's Blade? This is super sweet, actually. And you do Vaults Anvil. Okay. Crack holds of Findle, well. Okay, it's all cool. Mission issued, recruit, meh. Don't really care. Okay, let's see. Do we run an out into an ambush to fuck these guys up? Every um, dead red will be points on. Um, well, ridiculously small points, but uh, nonetheless points on the uh, Clan Angrond Diplomacy tab. Huh? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm really thinking we should use... I mean, she's legendary, right? She cannot die. Is that correct? I think we should just try and wound somebody here. Or the block army. She just needs one fucking point where we'll save a lot of fucking money. Huh? 35% chance is not a lot, is it? Can we raise that amount? Oh. Protector of the oak. I mean, if we're gonna go now and fight, she might get it as well. Not sure if we are up for it, so to say. How is your ambush chance, sir? I am called for. Ninety percent. They will be able to reach it. Huh? Yeah, fucking hell. Let's just have it here. Didn't we also just... Well, this is what we did with him, right? This was this turn? Was it this turn? I think so, yes. 
Yeah, and we cannot move anymore. That's all right. Um, stay around, I'd say. Ready to serve. How long to the garrison? Five fucking turns, man. Yeah, she needs the fucking point. It would be also twenty percent faster building. Huh? A turn is a turn is a turn is a turn, man. <laughs> well, this is all we're gonna do, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Might should have left him here, but it's quite alright this way as well. We were saying this, they do have training. Did the AI put some points in? Yeah, they did. Uh, we just checked him. Yes, 21. And what about you? Uh, no. Assassinate specialist, though. Okay. Because then we're gonna bring him in here. Uh. The Glade Captains do not have that, right? You are this one, no points. Uh, she herself? What about that? Nope. And you don't have that either. No. Okay. Well, uh, let's bring him down. Um, Virgin is the one with the... Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. Is this it? I think so. I mean, might just could kill around a little. It's a fifty four chance. Order is all forty eight. Inseparable, invincible. I will show them true valor. That's a bad Sunday, man. When you're strolling through the woods and suddenly <laughs> that comes around. Huh? 48. Mm, sure. Sweet, man. Guardian of the Deep Wood. Thinking about killing them, but we won't reach them this turn, so we're just gonna leave it. Oh well. 